Good morning everyone, it seems ages since I've done a live video, so uh got used to doing the ones to camera. Um, if you're around, do say hello. I'll try and keep up with your um, comments as they pop up on the screen. Um, the main focus for this one was um, for Sue, and Julie's also put a comment on to say that uh, she was interested in wadding as well. Sue's making a quilt for her little granddaughter and she wants to know about which wadding was best to use. As with everything, um, the choice of wadding is very much a personal thing. Um, years ago when I first started, when we were growing up, um, and those of about the same age as me will remember, poly polyester wadding was probably about the only one that you could get to use. Um, you can get that in various thicknesses from two inch further up um, and what you use depends on the effect so if you're using a thick polyester you get a puffy effect. Personally I don't like using polyester I don't like the feel of it. I do have some left here which I use from time to time I think I did a quilt um, probably last year that used it but it's not something that I would go out and buy out of choice. You can also get um, wadding that's made from recycled bo um, bottles which forms a polyester type wadding. Um, again I would have reservations personally about using that with babies and sort of having pl um, plastic next to them although there's nothing to say that there's anything wrong with it. I do prefer to use in all my quilts a uh, natural wadding. I use a cotton one and that in itself has its own ecological um, questions as well. But with a cotton wadding you get the warmth but it also allows your skin to breathe which I think is important. You can also get bamboo and bamboo is probably one of the most expensive ones that you can get. There is now a soya mix um, wadding that you can get which is a mixture of soya and cotton. Now I wouldn't mind having a uh, try that one. I've not tried it so I can't tell you what it's like but it has the same properties as the cotton and with the cotton it's a thinner um, wadding uh, so you get a nice drape on it, it's more pliable um, and I use the unbleached one so you haven't got the um, bleaching chemicals in with it. When it comes a lot of people it says on the instructions to pre-wash it. You can buy some that are pre-washed and pre-shrunk. I don't personally bother with that because I just like the fit, the effect that you get after you've made your quilt and you stick it in the machine and wash it and it just all pulls together. There's only a small percentage of um, shrinkage on it so it shouldn't cause a problem with your um, quilt. So that again is going to be a personal choice. With the cotton you can buy it in bulk, um, so you want to know where I got it from. If you're going to use a lot of it, I buy it at um, Empress Mills because you can get it double width and in three metre lengths. If you're only looking for a short, a small piece, you can buy off cut, like pre cut pieces already packed up, and somewhere like the cotton patch is where I use quite a bit. So Julie, you were talking about um, expense, yeah, um, it's all relative, it does appear to be a bit cheaper than it used to be and all the ones that I've used have been washable, so they've got, I've never had a problem with using the cotton wadding in throwing quilts in the machine, I've got some here that get thrown in the machine sort of at least once a month so because we use them on the settee. So, I've never had a problem with washing. 
So that's the way I go with, with the natural waddings. So, Sue, I hope that helps. Any other questions, do let me know. Um, just a reminder, I do have the quilting workshop going on at the moment. There is a 20% discount on that, uh, where I go through the making of a quilt from start to finish. So if you have any questions on that, just go through the whole process. Also, the made-to-order quilts, there's up to 20% discount on that for those that are ordered before the 16th of October. And with those, get guaranteed delivery before um, the 20th of December. So, I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. There's a question coming up at lunchtime for how to sharpen pink in shears. Um, Diane, I haven't forgotten your question. I'm going to set, get that sorted this week without putting zips in. And uh, for Suzanne, the magnetic class that will be all coming up ready for next month so once the videos are done i'll send those to you personally so you can see them before so enjoy the rest of your day i'm going to go and get some supplies to finish off a quilt and a ironing mat so i hope you have a craft today and i'll speak to you soon